Hi, my name is Todd Hoffer. I'm a functional consultant with Encore Business Solutions. Today, I want to share with you some exciting changes to Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, Supply Chain Management's new feature, Engineering Change Management. For some of the smaller organizations out there that uh, do not have air quote engineers, but you do have products that you manufacture or a bill of materials that you maintain, I believe there's a lot of value in this new feature without a whole lot of overhead. For other organizations, this video may not have enough content for you to see the full capabilities of the ECM or engineering change management. And I hope that you reach out to Encore to ask any further questions that you may have. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, what I want to do is quickly to show you how to create a new engineered product. And to do so, what I'm going to do is navigate to the product tab of the release products and create a new engineering product. We need to select a category and create a product number. When we select and create our new product, the category is going to drive behavior for us, similar to like a template. So you can see here we have our storage dimension, tracking dimension, and item model group already created or already populated for us. If we navigate to the engineer tab and we view our engineering versions, we can see we only have the one version currently available to us. By default, the lifecycle state is set to operational. We can change that at this time if we wanted to say it was a prototype or something along those lines. We can add some additional attributes, any documents or notes that we would like to associate with it, a bill of materials, as well as a route. Once we've configured all of the details for our new product, what we would need to do is release it to our other legal entities. As you can see, I'm in my DEMF, which is my engineering company, and I want to release it to my USMF company for transactions. We do that through this wizard, which is a really simple and quick process. Select my USMF company and release it. Next, I have a change request that is already pre-populated for us. In this instance, it was created um, by Amy. It's set with a priority status of intermediate, a category of a quality change, and a severity of low. There is some information that was added to it here through the notes that you can see. We can also attach documents or anything uh, similar to the doc uh, document management. The affected products were added here. You can see it's the home speaker five, uh, home system five speaker, and it's related to a sales order that we see here through the source. As the engineer, I'm going to go ahead and approve this change request. From there, I need to start working on my new change order. We navigate to the change order area, create new. And we start to fill in our information here. Give it a title, a category, set a priority and a severity level, and select the impacted products. When we select the product, we need to make sure that we, all, if it is a version product, we need to select the correct version. In this instance, I'm selecting the Home Speaker 5 version 2. And what I would like to do is create a new version. You can see I'm going to create a new version, and that's V03 will be the new version. We can add some additional details here attributes, add documents, similar to before. But in this instance, I want to change my bill of materials that is associated with this product ID. According to the change request, our speakers were making a noise, and we created a new product to replace this old speaker. 
I navigate to my lines of my bill of materials. You can see here there's a speaker D01 mid-range speaker. Let's just say that this is our problem. I'm going to delete that line and I'm going to add our new product that we just created. A TH speaker. Real quickly you can see here now we have the unchanged lines, the one line that we're going to delete, and the new line that we're adding to it. We can also change the route, or there's potentially maybe some change information that we'd like to add to it. At this time, this is all the information that we need for this change order to process it. We can maybe set up a workflow to have different people approve and process these change orders. In this instance, I'm just going to do everything. So I approve and process. I'm just going to create my new versions of my bill of materials and my product. And I'm now completed. If I navigate to my release products, and I see my home system five speaker, my engineering versions, we created our new version three. If I select it and navigate to my bill of materials. You can see now that my new product has been added and the old product has been removed. So real quickly, that's uh, how we would process a change request, create a new product and, and change and create a change order uh, to create our new version of our existing product. I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration and I look forward to answering any questions that maybe somebody who may have about this new feature coming out. Please feel free to reach out to Encore Business Solutions. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.